Good morning, dear friends, and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Today we are on the 17th Sunday of ordinary time. Today we celebrate the feast of Saints Joachim and Anne, and we wish all the parents and everyone a happy Parents' Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today's readings, the first reading from Kings chapter 3 and 7, the second reading from Romans chapter 8, and the Gospel Matthew chapter 13. All these readings talk about God choosing people after his own heart, giving them a mission and giving success to the work of their hands. Also, he gives us the gift of wisdom. Today as we celebrate Parents' Day, the Feast of Saints, Joachim and Anne, we ask the Lord the gift of patience, the gift of blessings to the parents of our parish and all over the world. We also ask the Lord to protect us from this coronavirus pandemic that we are surrounded by. May the Lord in His goodness give us His graces. We now call to mind those times, those occasions when we do not do the will of the Father. For this we ask pardon and strength. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Lord have mercy on our soul. Lord have mercy on our soul. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on our soul. Christ have mercy on our soul. Christ have mercy on our soul. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. On our soul, Lord have mercy on our soul. Lord have mercy on our soul. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on our soul. We we'll recite the Gloria together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you and bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, I must in us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy in us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord God of our fathers, who bestowed on saints Joachim and Anne this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son, grant to the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people, to our Lord Jesus Christ, to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading of the first book of the Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, Ask what he would like to give you. Solomon replied, Lord, my God, you have made your servant king in the succession to David my father, but I am a very young man 
unskilled in leadership your servant finds himself in the midst of these people of yours that you have chosen people so many its numbers cannot be counted or reckoned give your servant a heart to understand how to discern between good and evil or who could govern the people of yours that is so great it pleased the lord that solomon should have asked for this since you have asked for this the lord said a lord asks for long life for yourself or riches or the lives of your enemies but have asked for a discerning judgment for yourself here and now i do what you ask i give you a heart wise and shrewd as not before you has had and that will have after you the word of the lord thanks be to god your response will be lord how i love your law lord how i love your law my part i have resolved o lord to obey your word the law from your mouth means more to be than silver and gold response lord how i love your law let your law be ready to console me by your promise to your servant let your law come to be and i shall live for your law is my delight response lord how i love your law that is why i love your commands more than finest gold that is why i rule my life by your precepts i hate false ways response lord how i love your law your will is wonderful indeed therefore i obey it the unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple response lord how i love you are lord a reading from the letter of st paul to the romans we know that by turning everything to their good god cooperates with all those who love him but all those that he has called according to his purpose they are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true images of his son so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers he called those he intended for this those he called he justified and with those he justified he shared his glory the word of the lord alleluia says the lord because i have made known to you everything i have learned from my father alleluia 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 The Lord is with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus
Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field which someone has found. He hides it again, goes off happy, sells everything he owns and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he finds one of great value, he goes and sells everything he owns and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea that brings in a hall of all kinds. When it is full, the fishermen haul it ashore and then sitting down, they collect the good ones in a basket and throw away those that are of no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the just to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be a weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said yes. And he said to them, Well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from a storeroom things both old and new. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, all three readings of today talk about God's love for us and how He chooses us. He gives us all the gifts that we need in our lives. The first reading of today, taken from the book of Kings, 1 Kings chapter 3 and 7. In this reading, we have the Lord appearing in a dream to Solomon, the king, and asking him, What is it you want from me? Ask anything and I'll give it to you. Solomon does not ask for life, long life. He does not ask for treasures. He does not ask for more power. He says, Give me the wisdom to discern between good and evil. The Lord commends him for that and says, You have asked the most important thing in life, the gift of discernment between good and evil. The second reading, Romans chapter 8. Here, the Lord is saying, I have chosen people who will become images of my son. I have chosen them. I have given them a mission. And I will give success to the work of their hands. They will face difficulties in life. But if they trust me, if they value what I have said, what my son has said, I will justify every work of their hands. I will give success to the work of their hands. My dear sisters and brothers, we find difficulties in our lives. And there we need to remember that the Lord is with us. In the gospel of today, the gospel of Matthew chapter 13, there are three images given of the kingdom of heaven. The first image, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure which someone finds in a field. But he values that treasure so much that he sells everything that he has. He buys it, acquires it legally and becomes the owner and he is very happy. The second image of the kingdom of heaven is a merchant of fine pearls. He finds these fine pearls, he sells everything he owns, he buys those pearls and he's very happy. And the third image of a dragnet that brings in a lot of fish and then there is a choice made of good and evil, good fish and bad fish. The bad fish is thrown in the furnace to be burnt, the good fish is kept aside. The message of all the three readings of today, God has given us a lot of gifts. 
but the most important gift he has given us is the gift of wisdom to choose between good and evil between right and wrong also god has chosen us for a mission the mission that he gives us he will give us whatever we need for that mission he will give success to the work of our hands if we value his kingdom if we value the good that he has in mind for us he will give us an answer to every problem that we face in life a solution to everything that we go through in life this is a message from the readings of today and lastly if we value our response to the kingdom of heaven our response to god's gifts is that we need to stand by god we need to value what god has given us and be just in whatever we say in in whatever we do and the lord who is so kind and merciful will reward us for valuing the kingdom we need to value the kingdom of heaven so much that sacrificing everything for it standing by what we think is right there will be troubles in our life there will be situations in our life when we will have to choose between good and evil and at that moment the lord tells us i will stand by you if you stand by my word we stand for justice i will stand by you today we also celebrate the feast of saint joachim and anne we celebrate parents day today and we ask from the lord blessing on the parents on all the parents of our parish we ask the lord to bless our parents with the gift of wisdom with the gift of discernment between good and evil with the gift of patience with the gift of love with these gifts the lord promises promises us i will stand by you i will justify the works of your hand and i want you to teach your children the values of the kingdom my dear parents god has called us for a mission he gives us a mission he wants us to bring up our children in the faith and the lord will bless our children too he will give us give our children the values of the kingdom let us lift up to the lord all our difficulties all our problems that we face in our lives as parents as simple people and lord will give us an answer foremost first and foremost we place a problem of the pandemic to the lord today and we ask us we ask him to give us an answer to this difficulty lord in your own time grant us what we need in the name of the father son and the holy spirit we now recite the nicene creed together i believe in one god the father almighty maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible i believe in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god born of the father before all ages god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made consubstantial with the father to him all things were made for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the holy spirit was incarnate of the virgin mary and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets i believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church i confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and alive in the world to come amen my dear brothers and sisters let us place before the lord our intentions in faith our response will be lord hear our prayer together lord hear our prayer father in heaven we lift up to you the pope the bishops the clergy and the religious that with prudence and discernment 
they may govern the people of God. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the teachers, that they may instill in their pupils the ability to choose good and avoid evil and have an understanding mind. For this we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may search for the kingdom of God, which is the most precious treasure, as they live their lives, trusting in the words of Jesus, who promises us rich rewards. For this we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us present in this Eucharistic assembly, that enlightened by the word of God, we may search for divine wisdom, so that we too may take the right decisions and wisely administer the responsibility entrusted to us. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, you know, at this moment we also pray for all the parents of our parish. We ask the Lord to bless them with His gifts and blessings. Give them gift of wisdom and understanding and the other gifts of the Holy Spirit. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, lifting up to you all our petitions, all our intentions, we ask you, Lord, in your wisdom, in your mercy, to grant us what we need. Make this prayer to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have bread to offer. Through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. May the Lord cleanse me from my iniquities and purify me from all my sins. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his children. Let us pray. Receive, we pray, O Lord, these offerings of your homage, and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and to his descendants. Make this prayer to Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through this Paschal mystery, he, prom he accomplished the marvelous deeds by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. Praise you Lord Jesus. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church prayed throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Anne, Saint Joachim, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. True Him, with Him, in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father. Forever and ever. Amen. 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 As the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we now dare to say it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said this to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant us peace and unity in your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. We now exchange this sign of peace with one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world and mercy in us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world and mercy in us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our response. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. When I say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. They received blessings from the Lord and mercy from God, their Saviour. Before the final blessings, my dear friends, I wish to, wish, I wish to congratulate all the parents of our parish for the selfless work that they do every day with their children. Wish you all a very happy feast of St. Jokimanan and happy Parents' Day from all the fathers of the palace. Father Chinnapa has left the palace to go to his mission station at Gulbarga. Father Ralph is at clergy home. Wishes from Father Ralph, Father Chinnapa and from Fathers Omar, Father Sanjeev and myself. Happy Feast. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son should be born from among humanity, so that by a wonderful mystery, humanity might be born again from you. We pray that in your kindness, you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those you have fed with the bread you give to your children. Make this prayer to Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord is with you. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit may descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. This Mass is now ended. You are sent forth in the peace and the joy of grace. Thanks. Thanks be to God. We sing this hymn, Thank You, Thank You, Jesus. Thank You, Thank You, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Passover.